In this lesson, we're going to learn about the leading coefficient of a quadratic function and see how it impacts the graph. Let's begin by reminding ourselves of what a leading coefficient is. We know that a quadratic function has the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are numbers. We also know that the number in front of the x squared, the a, is called the leading coefficient. The leading coefficient can tell us a lot about the graph of the parabola. Let's take a look at some examples. Here we have the most basic of all quadratic functions, y equals x squared. The leading coefficient, the number in front of the x squared, is simply 1. What if we were to change that from 1x squared to y equals 2x squared? Take a look at the new graph. The red graph shows the leading coefficient of 2, and notice that the graph is a little bit steeper and a little bit narrower. What if we were to make our leading coefficient even larger? Instead of 2, what if we made it 5x squared? Well, notice once again the graph is even steeper and even narrower. So it looks like the larger the leading coefficient is, the steeper and narrower the graph becomes. But what if we went and made the leading coefficient smaller? Let's go back to our simple graph, y equals x squared, and let's look for comparison at y equals 1 half x squared, which is smaller than 1. Notice now that the graph is wider. It's less steep than the original. And if we were to change that leading coefficient from, let's say, 1 half to 1 fourth, which is even smaller, notice the graph is even wider and even less steep. We can put these observations into a table to keep track of them. They're very important. The larger the leading coefficient, a, is, the steeper or narrower the parabola is. And the smaller the leading coefficient is, the less steep or wider the parabola is. We can write out two graphs to compare this. For instance, y equals 3x squared versus y equals 1 fourth x squared. Notice the parabola that has the smaller leading coefficient, 1 fourth, is much wider and less steep than the parabola that has the larger leading coefficient of 3. We say when a is larger than 1 that the parabola is stretched by a factor of a. a is whatever that leading coefficient is. So in the case of our example, y equals 3x squared, we would say the parabola is stretched by a factor of 3. When a is between 0 and 1, we say that the parabola is compressed by a factor of a. a is the leading coefficient. In this case, y equals 1 fourth x squared, we say that the parabola is compressed by a factor of 1 fourth. This is a great time to pause the video to make this table in your notes so that you have it for a reference. Please pause the video here. Now, the one situation we haven't talked about is what if the leading coefficient is negative? What if, for example, we had y equals x squared as our basic equation, and we changed it to y equals negative x squared? In other words, the leading coefficient was negative 1. Notice what happens. The parabola has flipped over the x-axis, or mathematically speaking, we would say that the parabola has reflected over the x-axis. What if I change that negative 1x squared to a negative 2x squared? Notice now the parabola is steeper and reflected. So when our leading coefficient is positive, the parabola opens upward, and when the leading coefficient is negative, the parabola opens downward. Let's make a, a summary chart of this. When the leading coefficient is positive, the parabola opens upward, and the graph looks like this. When the leading coefficient is negative, the parabola opens downward, and the graph looks like this. When the parabola has flipped upside down, we say that the parabola is reflected over the x-axis. This is an excellent reference for you to include in your notes. Please pause the video here, make these notes in your notebook, and return when you've finished. So now, as you can see, the leading coefficient tells us quite a bit. It tells us whether the parabola will be steeper or wider. It also tells us whether the parabola will open upward or downward. 
Let's look at a couple of examples. Here are two quadratic functions, y equals 3x squared plus 5x minus 2, and y equals 2x squared plus 5x minus 2. Which of these parabolas will be steeper or narrower, and which will be less steep or wider? Please pause the video here and come back when you're ready. We compare the parabolas by looking at the leading coefficients of the functions. Function a has a leading coefficient of 3, while function b has a leading coefficient of 2. The function that has the largest leading coefficient will be the steepest, or the narrowest, graph. The function that has the smaller leading coefficient will have the graph that is wider or less steep. Since 3 is the largest leading coefficient, function a will have the steeper or narrower graph. Function b, with the smaller leading coefficient, will have the less steep or the wider graph. Let's try another example. Here are two functions. Which of them will have the steeper or narrower graph, and which will have the wider and less steep graph? y equals 1 fourth x squared plus 3x minus 6 versus y equals 1 half x squared plus 3x minus 6. Pause the video here and come back when you're ready. We compare the functions by looking at the leading coefficients, 1 fourth and 1 half. 1 fourth is smaller than 1 half, 1 half is larger than 1 fourth. The function that has the smaller leading coefficient will have the wider or less steep graph, and the function that has the larger leading coefficient will have the steeper or narrower graph. 1 fourth being the smaller of the two leading coefficients will have the graph that is wider, and function b, which has the larger leading coefficient, will have the graph that is steeper or narrower. Let's try one last exercise. Here are two functions, function a and function b. Which of them will have a graph or a parabola that opens upward, and which will have one that opens downward? Please pause the video here and come back when you're ready. To compare these, we look at the leading coefficients. If a graph has a positive leading coefficient, that means the parabola will open upward. If the quadratic function has a negative leading coefficient, that means the graph will open downward. Function a has a leading coefficient of negative 5, that means its parabola will open downward. Function b has a leading coefficient that is positive, it will open upward. And that's how you work with leading coefficients of quadratic functions. Remember, you can find more on quadratic functions in Mr. Dory's Algebra Handbook, available at www.dorypublications.com.